guys, Melissa Mickey McGrath here. I am one of the trainers at MSPCA at McEwen at Nevin's Farm. And I was asked to do a training video for cats. Now I like to train cats because I think what's, um, what's so fun about it is that you see how easy it is to get an animal to understand what the clicker means if you're using a clicker or your verbal marker, yes. Um, so what I would first start doing is the same thing that we do in our dog training classes. Some people say, my dog doesn't want to work for food, but we just got to find the thing that they like. Because if I can train a cat, that when they hear the click and they get a cookie, right? They're going to try to work to get that click. So I'm going to charge the clicker. That sound means food is coming. So now that I've done that a few times, I'm going to hold out my two hands, like my two fingers like this. And I'm going to just see what my cat does. She bonks her nose to my finger. In dog training, we call that touch. We could call it the same thing for cats as well. So now what I can do, I can see if I can get her to move a little further. Ruby. <laughs> Captain, back up. Sit. Go oh boy. So now what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to teach my cat how to sit. Oh, well done. So I'm going to use touch to get her to stand up. Oh. And if she doesn't want to, I can lure her, which is take the treat and physically get her up. Treat up her nose. And as soon as those feet come down, click and treat. So I can start to give her a hand signal. This is the same thing we do for dogs. So now I'm going to see if she'll do it without a treat. If I can train a cat to sit and do touch um, with a clicker, I'm pretty sure it'll work on a dog. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can teach her to spin. And I should have clicked there. I'm going to try again. I'm going to use my left hand to lure. So I can capture that. I'm gonna try with just touch and see if I can get her to do it. There we go. So now you've learned how to do touch, sit. She's thinking about it. <laughs> Your patience with a cat is gonna have to be a little a little higher, you have to give them a little bit more time to figure it out. Go boy, Captain, stay. And spin with a clicker and touch and treats. Give it a shot, and That's okay. I know, I know. So, good luck. Um, let me see what other tricks you can teach your cat now that she knows touch. I don't even know if I'm in view anymore, but I could get her to come up here. She sees the treats here in order to get it. She can target to my hand. So now that you know these things, see what tricks you can put together using these dog training techniques, stay, um, for your cat. And then post them to the uh, Facebook page and let me know how you're doing. Have a great week.